Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Eddie and I'm going to talk to you about the stock market and how does the stock market work when investing. As we all know, in this world, we are surrounded by businesses worldwide. Now, the market is also real estate. Commercial real estate. And automobiles. Everything is the market. For instance, if you know how the stores work when they have sales, because you see on the window saying 50% off, 20% off, or 10% off, then this attracts customers to go shopping at the stores. And what this means is we can buy the product for a less price and we can save money. So the stock market works the same way when investing, all we have to do is be patient. Wait for a sell-off in the stock market. and we can buy this assets or properties at a lower price and we can buy more and these properties will generate us more cash. So if the stock market is high in prices, we want to avoid that. We want to avoid high risk, high prices. Instead of following the herd by buying, when a lot of people are buying, when the stock market starts to rise up and prices start going high, this is when a lot of people start going in the market, start to invest. Avoid high risk, high prices. If you have seen how a lot of people and a lot of investors in the world, when they start buying at high prices and when there's bad news that strikes the world because something bad happened, such as the virus. Nobody wanted for anything to happen bad. start running in fear and in panic, then there's a sell-off in the market. And the sell-off causes prices to drop. 
This is the reason why there's a lot of people and investors in the world that start running in fear and in panic trying to sell because they don't want to lose their money. So that is the part that we want to when investing that is high risk. So if the stock market is high in prices, buy at low prices. For instance, and what this means is a lot of people took huge opportunity to buy assets at low prices because they knew they could own a lot. We're just waiting patiently, not in fear, not in panic, because they knew what to do. They didn't follow the herd. This attracts investors. Knew where to invest financially and mathematically when there is a sell-off. But also real estate and commercial real estate. The stock market sell-off causes prices to drop. What this means is and if we decide to sell in the future, we can sell it at a higher price and make a profit. Now, the stock market or the market will always bounce back up, always. It can rise It can drop For instance, let's say that there's a real estate property that costs $500,000. Why would I wanna buy or why would you wanna buy a property that costs $500,000 when you can buy it for a lower price? Or you can make offers, you can negotiate the price to get the price of the property at a lower price. Let's say, at $250,000. Now, if you buy the property at $250,000, this means over the years, 
if you decide to sell, the property might be worth more. Let's say $500,000 or more. And if you decide to sell, this means that you're going to make a high profit. Because you bought the property at $250,000 and you sold it because it's worth more. Let's say $500,000. So you made a profit of $250,000 and also you made your investment back. So this is the reason why it's important to always wait for there to be a sell-off and to buy at low prices. This works with stocks. Real estate In commercial real estate and this is the reason why a lot of people in the world and a lot of investors they invest in these assets because they generate cash and also because these are assets of value and this is how a lot of people in the world a lot of investors have become rich because they buy these assets of value and these properties will generate us more cash. Now, in my opinion, these are the best assets of value that we can invest in and to own, in my opinion. And these assets will make a person super rich or super wealthy. And you can also read financial books and also and see what people invest in to become rich. And they will say the same thing. And it's the same assets as I just mentioned. How people have become rich through investing through stocks, real estate and commercial real estate. I also have a video regarding how to invest in assets and about the financier. And the name of this video, it's called My Best Investment Financial Books. And also the thumbnail, it's called Financial Knowledge in Action, It's Power. If you're interested in watching the video for more information. Now, the financier is about a kid that was born in the 1800s from the state of Pennsylvania, and this kid did not know anything about cash, business, or the stock market. And he actually ended up learning and getting this financial education, and he became rich by investing in the stock market. While everybody was selling, he waited for this opportunity for prices to go low, as low as possible, when there was a sell-off, when there was bad news, he started to buy while others were running away in fear and in panic away from the market. They did not want to know nothing about the stock market. This kid or adult, as he became over the years, he knew what to do. He was not in fear or in panic. He went towards the market and started to buy at low prices he took this opportunity and once the stock market started to rise up then he started seeing a lot of gains because he already knew what to do and he became a millionaire now nobody was born rich in this world people started to become rich especially through trading and opening up businesses this is how a lot of people became rich by opening up businesses. A lot of people come from middle class family that were not rich. For instance, Mr. Warren Buffett, 
He started at the bottom with little money. He always liked investing. Now, and this is how Mr. Warren Buffett also became rich by buying at low prices. And owning a lot of corporations. Yes, either buying stocks or the whole corporations through stock. And this is how he became rich at the age of 30, becoming a millionaire. And over the years, he became a multi-billionaire because he knew how the market worked. Not to buy at the top of high prices, but at the bottom, low risk, cheap prices. Now, another person that became rich that was not rich is Mr. Robert Kiyosaki. He invests in real estate and there's many others. And also trading. Even youngsters now, they go in the stock market when there's a sell-off and they start buying stock. Real estate. and commercial real estate at low prices and then they become rich because they wait for this sell-off opportunities. This is the reason why they invest because they know what to do financially and mathematically. Now, as we all know, everybody starts at the bottom. People start at the bottom and once they open up an account with little cash over time and over the years, they start growing their accounts and become rich. Now, also, a lot of people 
in the world and a lot of investors that are waiting patiently. They're waiting for the opportunity to buy as much as they can. They continue to buy even more shares or more stocks, more real estate, more commercial real estate because this will make them even richer. This investors that buy stocks from these corporations, that's all they do. All they do is invest at low prices. buy more stocks yes and that's all they're doing using their brain and mind to think financially and mathematically because they know what to do and how to become even richer and not just in money but also in assets in properties of value And now, are these investors working in the corporations? And the answer is no. They're not working in the doing it's just investing their money in this corporation and generating cash through all these people that work in the corporation, making the products, selling the products. making a living, selling the products to generate cash for the corporation so they can get a paycheck and make a living. People that work in the corporations, they're doing all the work, not the investors. People that work in the corporation, they work for a living and generating cash for the corporation. But also, the corporation, through this employees, they're also making money because they have to pay a dividend to the investors. Investors are making huge amounts of cash. More than the people that work in the corporations to make a living. And what are these investors doing? All they do is just invest. They own a lot of stocks, not just from one corporation, but from a lot.
Yes, and they're just generating cash every three months because they're long-term investors. Now that corporations have to pay all the employees that work in the corporation, but also pay the investors that own stocks because they're owners of the corporation through stocks. And we are entitled to receive a payment through dividend stocks. Dividend stock and dividend stock, we don't have to sell our shares because they generate us cash. Every three months, we get a dividend payment. Investors that own a lot of shares from different corporations, they get a lot of cash because they own a lot of dividend stocks. And this generates investors a lot of cash every three months. People that work in the corporations are doing all the work making investors cash. Now, on the other side, they also have real estate or they own real estate that is generating them cash by renting the properties. and also commercial real estate that are renting their office space or their space. To entrepreneurs and these entrepreneurs are paying rent every month. And the rent is very expensive, very high, making a lot of cash. Also, on the other side, and they're working on their own projects physically, generating them even more cash. They also own private jets. In which they fly all over the world. to do their work, to generate cash, even more cash. And after work, they have a luxury lifestyle because they have all this cash. Which they can spend to have a luxury lifestyle.
So as you can see, all this cash All these properties. And all these projects that they're doing, some physically, not all of them. As you can see, all the sources of income that investors have, besides being entrepreneurs, They can also have a YouTube channel that is generating them cash. So as you can see, all these sources of income that these people and investors have, and they all started at the bottom. While other people that are working in corporations only have one source of income now a lot of people know what to do financially and mathematically when investing now there's another thing there's a lot of people that say the poor continue to be poor and the rich continue to get richer and they all have all these math expressions and bad things up to say about the rich instead of learning from the rich they criticize the rich, they blame the rich without knowing that everybody starts at the bottom. And instead of getting financially educated, to take those steps to start investing, and become also financially wealthy, everybody started at the bottom. But even if they know financially and mathematically what to do to be financially wealthy, they continue to complain. Instead of learning and taking those steps to start investing and start rising up financially. to own this assets of value. that will generate cash. Like all these people, all these investors. If you get yourself educated and start taking these steps to start investing when there's sell-offs in the market, investing stocks, real estate and commercial real estate we can all do it if these people can do it anybody can do it it's not about complaining or being mad it's about learning 
from others to see how they become successful. That's the reason why a lot of people by investing have become not just multi-millionaires. But also multi-billionaires. by opening up their own businesses, by buying stocks, real estate, and commercial real estate. Now that you know, you can take your steps to start investing and starting at the bottom, but it's all up to you, it's your decision. And this is how the stock market works. And fear stops a lot of people advancing financially. Take that fear away. People will never advance financially. And also, risk comes from a person not knowing what to do financially. Now, there's another thing. There's people that say, I don't invest in the stock market because it's a risk. Without knowing that if you work for an employer, and you open 401k account and you deposit money in that account, well, what you're buying or what they're buying is stocks to generate cash for your retirement. Now, it's always best to get ourselves financially educated and start managing your own money and start investing can advance financially and have that experience. It's best. If this is not true, that these are assets of value, well, this is how a lot of people in the world have become rich through investing in businesses, stocks, real estate, and commercial real estate. Now, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment box below and I'll do my best to answer you back. If you saw value and liked video, like and subscribe, Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.